Uh, the Althani Collection is um, a collection of works of art, more than 5,000 in number, that span from the Neolithic age until today. Although this is a private collection, we remain institutionally very, very open to working in collaboration with other museums around the world and indeed to academics and scholars and curators. The uh, display of works from the Althani Collection here is really the result of an accord between the Althani Collection Foundation and the Centre des Monuments Nationaux, whereby the collection will, over a period of 20 years, hold exhibitions and make displays uh, from the collection and sometimes in partnership with other institutions. So in this first gallery, we have only seven pieces but seven pieces that really traverse civilizations and um, introspectively teach us lessons about the links across cultures and indeed the links across time. So for example, the Schuster Stargazer, the first piece that we show there, um, really stuns all visitors because the first thing they say to themselves is, oh, it's so abstract, it really looks like a 20th century sculpture, but in fact it's a work of the third millennium BC. And it shows us that a sophisticated abstraction in the representation of the human form is not something that is recent. And each object uh, that we have on display here is really designed to evoke this sort of um, an impulse or this sort of an experience that when we look at the works of art, be they abstract or more naturalistic, be they in uh, terracotta or in a rich uh, material, that each object says something about, about civilization. Gallery 2 is a um, gallery very close to my heart. Um, it's a gallery de visage. We have 11 vitrines, each vitrine with a different head, um, each head from a different civilization, often made of different materials. And the idea here was that we wanted visitors to explore the past or to know the past through personal encounters, really uh, looking head by head into the eyes and hopefully beginning to ask questions about the civilizations that created these portraits, whether they were naturalistic or idealistic, representations of power or sometimes of intimacy, sometimes of divinity. Gallery 3 is a gallery for temporary exhibitions. We will have two every year, sometimes from the Althani Collection's own collections, sometimes in partnership with other institutions. And then Gallery 4 is um, an evocation of an ancient treasury. So here what we have is objects of high value in gold, silver, and hard stones like jade and jasper, lapis lazuli, for example, such as would have been kept in a, in a storeroom or treasury, be of a palace or a temple. Gallery 4 is one continuous vitrine of 20 meters. There we have the chance to show objects in little groups, uh, one next to the other, so people really follow a, a type of a parcours, you know, a, be it chronological or be it in terms of material. The Althani Collection is part of a, of a dynamic program across many monuments in France. So we know that many loyal visitors of the Centre des Monuments Nationaux visit us. And um, it's everything from little kids to, to groups of all types. Um, we wanted to make a space that's really impactful, I think is the word. And the idea was very much to make a scenography that's totally original. You know, um, we wanted visitors to come into this space immersed in a very special environment, looking at works of art of transcendental beauty and quality, and then when they leave to almost pinch themselves and say, what was that experience that I had? Wasn't it, wasn't it special? Wasn't it extraordinary?